Hello, in this video we're going to create a rich text box control where you can load content into it by dragging files onto it. So we're going to create a new project and we are going to add a new class. Call it drag drop rich text box control here. And it's going to extend the original rich text box. The first thing that you need to do is set the allow draw property. If you're doing this without extending from the control, you're not you might not be able to find the allow draw property in the designer view, and you're not going to find the drag drop and drag enter events either. Okay, so public drag drop rich text box we're going to set the default value of allow drop to true so that it accepts uh, drag dropping uh, this value it's uh, we're just setting the default value here any value that's specified after initialized components or in the designer view of the main form uh, will override what we're doing here so this is simply a default value Okay, now we need to add the event here. Um, so what would our event be? We don't need to worry about the drag enter event because we need not to concern ourselves with the drag effects since we're simply dragging files onto our um, control here. In that case, we really don't have to care about the effects. Um, so we need to handle the drag drop events. That's about it. So this dot drag drop plus equal to tab tab mark this as private okay and declare a string array file names is equal to e data which is the data that's being dragged onto our control get data string format we're going to specify our data format in the string format by using the data formats class and selecting one of its public members here. So file drop would be what we want. And we're going to use, an, we're going to attempt to cast it to a string array. So as string array. We don't know if it actually is file names that we're dragging onto here. So we need to attempt to cast it. If file names is not equal to to null. So if it has been casted, then we want to iterate through all the file names and load the file contents of the files into the rich text box. So for each string name and file names. Uh, we're going to try to do this since this is a uh, some IO operation, we need to wrap it in a try catch. This dot append text file read all text and then specify our iterated file name. And if something goes awry, we're going to display it to the user. ex.message. You can do whatever you want here. So let's uh, test it out. So let's drag our rich text box control right here. And start it up. We're going to drag files individually onto the, onto the control. We can also drag them on at the same time. You might want to add some uh, double lines in there between the loaded documents. So we can do that. And I believe this will work. Two new line characters. OK, 
Okay, maybe one line, one new line will do a bit better. Yeah, okay. And you can either trim the last new line, so trim after the before each, or you can just test to see if um, if you're on the last the last iteration, if you're using a, a for loop instead of a for each. And that way you're not going to have that extra new, new line at the end. Okay, what else can we do? We might want to check for, um, to see if any data exists. So e, if e dot, uh, data, get data present, and we're looking for data formats, file drops, so if we have any file drops present, then do this. Otherwise, just don't try to do anything. This isn't, this isn't quite necessary, but a lot of people do it. Uh, I don't know. Might save you some troubles. We can try to load shortcuts and stuff into here. It's, it's going to try to uh, get the, the text content of pretty much anything. Uh, without raising any exceptions. The only time you're going to get excep exceptions if you're loading, uh, I don't know, a file that's in use or something like that, a file that's messed up. Anyways, good day to you.